Hope you're wearing your lucky socks for our review of the recently released agent on Valorant, Clove. The Scottish troublemaker that is looking to show her mischief knows no bounds. Upon combat towards her enemies, even through the brink of death and beyond the grave, demonstrates everyone deserves another chance. Welcome everyone, it's your entertainer for today's video where we will be going over and showcasing the lore and abilities of Clover, another addition to the ever so evident lineup that continues to grow with every new season in Valorant, while also going over the multiple fixes and large array of various statements towards addressing bugs and other buffs or nerfs to other characters that were introduced in this upcoming act. Upon this overview of closed gameplay, will you have the understanding that should be good enough for you to actually be interested in possibly recruiting them and actually showing off your skills as a new agent as you take all your chances that are gifted through each match. Going along with second chances, don't waste yours by not liking this video if you are enjoying the entertainment so far or even subscribe if you are looking forward to even more of this kind of content sure to come your way in the future. We all don't have all the time in the world, so let's get back into the overview of Clove from her abilities and ultimate, while also discovering more that has been released with their introduction. Revolving around the concept of a beautiful death and grasping at the concept that death is only the beginning was the central point alluring to the pivot design from look personality, and even the kit of clove that Valorant and the game's visual designer team has tried for. Take it for instance that even though being on controller means standing out on the sidelines, being just another background character, Riot has actually created the perfect agent towards the direction for those that might want to throw caution to the wind with enough calculated risks like opting out to be like the typical control player and owl locking omen. Beyond that is also clothes attributes that can appear whimsy and warm, but can also come off as sharp as a knife while keeping that straightforward edge even though her visual style could represent another alternative. While glossing over the inspiration of organic decay such as fruits or rotten vegetables that look almost beautiful as if their ultimately demise mean a promise to start anew that is apparent even with the details upon her clothing even the ripples of her abilities. The company of her attire is also the creative personality that follows which can tell is not just any sort of blunt Scottish display. As with any other agent, you may notice Riot had done research to embrace clothes to Scotland and her heritage while keeping somewhat her ever so gleeful personality in check with maybe the ever so slight undertone of aggressive demeanor in situations or other interactions during rounds. Among the increasingly details that Riot has always excelled at, when it comes to any of their multiple games is also their decisive ability to confirm whatever moveset their inclusive character may possess. And with that being stated, it will be our next topic we will focus with this ongoing review. Riot was not messing around when it came to the type of character and her mechanics that can contribute to every match as for both during and even after death, you can assist your teammate and even be the menace to society towards your enemies. With clothes kits that has made her the true instant pick for not only needing the controller position field, but just overall. Between the array of options to judge her approach, whether it's more up in front and personal, that could be occupied with the ability Metal that lets you decay your opponent with the essence of immortality or to be more strategic on distant encounters and engulf the life force from the fallen enemy with Pick Me Up proves there are many alternatives which Close has up her sleeve. Even moreover, taking the gander at her arsenal of taking a peek through the clouds that Clove can place throughout the map at fixed locations either one at a time or all at once even after death that can make for honestly cunning strategies that will help you in the long run of outplaying the other agents. Last attention focusing on her kit is her ultimate not dead yet, which as the name states grants you a second life and a second chance to jump back into the fray and upon activation shortly after death can you be back on your feet and on the offensive 
only for a short period of time and survive long enough with an assist or elimination can earn you another life in the continued round. Comeback story of the decade is true when it comes with this agent as pointed out through her abilities but even more so on her release as her introduction has only brought many updates and hot fixes to the game but also helped introduce the next topic of this video. Everyone is not perfect, we all have our faults or cracks, and that goes for even video games. No matter how much time was ever spent throughout the completion of everyone's goals, you can expect a few trip ups while approaching to the finish line. But there has been anything that Clove has taught us is that there is beauty even upon death. With another act release means hot fixes and updates has follow suit. Various indicators are guided to the influx of specific agents getting their much needed buffs or nerfs, such as reduction in the cool time of reactivating aim to solidify clear weaknesses that Viper has compared to her peers while still meeting her unique identify as a controller in Sentinel, while also showing changes towards Cypher's trap wire that gives enemies more time to deal with it after it has been triggered, while the reduction in slow duration provides those caught a slightly better chance to use movement to avoid death. Simpler dealing of things being altered are the game's bug fixes that include some fix of the exploit on Split that allow agents to stand on the sign on a site, just as another apparent change of addressing the issue where footsteps were not produced when in ADS and when running while slow by Sage's slow orb. Lastly, the significant changes to the bug where fractional damage would represent the total damage incorrectly on the hood and also accompanied by the update towards Premiere where your practice matches did not lock your division in. Riot shows compassion and continues to care about not only their game but also their player base and how they go about understanding and evaluating each individual error and hurdle while taking the appropriate action to achieve their goals shows that really the introduction of Clove was just the icing on the cake this act had needed and had already been set up. Only in a few instances like this one has the introduction of a new agent has been this impactful or even dare say inspirational for other games to test their limits. And not just releasing a standalone character, but also establishing them as an actual person, and somehow making them influence the lore and the game itself. Rather, this price of information revolving around Clove's introduction as the actual impact of the game, as stated, is up for debate. But maybe you can take the chance that giving this rebellious Scottish controller a try as they currently are playable in the game. If you are signed up for the Game Pass, you can recruit them for free along with other agents. Whether you're someone new looking to try to get on the action or a returning vet wanting to get another crack at the game has to offer, now is the perfect time than any to make that attempt forward and experiencing the many different features that Riot worked on for its segment and maybe give Valorant a second chance. Speaking of second chances, this is another one reminding you if you enjoyed the video to make sure to give it a like or even subscribe for even more content sure to come your way. This has been your entertainer encouraging you to stay humble, stay positive, and always remember to hit with the wubs. <laughs>